shot in these streets. And I'm just like you. We getting locked by these caps. And I'm just like you. We fulfill the prophecies. And I'm just like you. You might be light, I might be dark. But I'm just like you. We kill each other over colors. And I'm just like you. I'm in these ghettos in these slums. And I'm just like you. They call you nigga, call me spit. And I'm just like you. You were 1619, I was 1492. We getting shot in these streets. And I'm just like you. Welcome to FCN Quick News of the Day. I'm your host, Officer Pat GL, and today's news we have... Many African-American last names hold weight of black history. Read on. Choosing your surname gives you that power to say, this is what I'm going to be called from now on, explained genealogist Kenyatta Berry. Now, the thing about the title is that it's going to make a lot of our people think they have to go back to Mufasa's name and... All these um, African names taking that's connecting them back to their own heritage. Now, read this image right here. I am a free man, mm -hmm. James Freeman. So, you see, so now you understand where some of our people, some of our brothers and sisters, get their last name from. It's because they were just given to them. They didn't know what to call themselves. They were, we were destroyed in slavery, so we just took anything. Now, read, read that. Enslavement. A centuries-long campaign designed to strip its victims of any essence, both erased names and severed family histories. Now, you see what it says? Both erased names. Why? Because your name ties you back up to your heritage, who you are, where you came from. So once they took that off you, what do you call yourself? Now, let's get a precept real quick. Let's get um, Isaiah 65, verse 15. Let's see what God said about that. Because that's that's something that, that's been happening for years. And till this day, when our own people marry outside of their race, they're still continuing destroying their name. Read that. Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 15. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. So this is what God said. God says, us, the Israelites, the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, he, he prophesied saying, we will leave our name for a curse. Read. For a curse unto my chosen, mm -hmm. for the Lord God shall slay thee. So we have been spiritually slayed and physically slayed in history. Now our mind is gone. Like we don't even know who we are. Read. And call his servants by another name. Now we're calling ourselves by a different name than God gave us. What was the name that God gave us? Go to Genesis chapter 32 verse 28. Let's see, Let's see the name that God named all of us. Because we belong to God. We don't belong to no other nation on this earth. When God created it. Everything, he said, you are my sons whom I loved. Read that, Genesis 32. Genesis chapter 32 and verse 28. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. What was, what was the, the new name going to be? But Israel, mm -hmm. for as a prince hast thou power with God. That's the true name right here. And that's the, you, you can't go above that with meaning. God says, a prince has thou power with God. God. All right? Go back to the article. Scroll down. Read the last highlighted part. People seem to feel both the freedom to push aside anything related to enslavers or to keep given surnames because of some connection to them. You see that? So that's why they keep pushing those names aside. They say, you know what? I don't want to call myself under Tucker or, or Cherisman or, you know, some different name because it, when I look into it, all it does is bring me back to, this, to, the, to my um, forefather's slave master. So, the, so they say, I don't want to tie up my name with that. Guess what? Don't worry. Matthew 15, verse 24, read that. Why do our people think like that? Because we're lost. We don't know what direction to go. But Christ got us. Read that. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. But he answered and said... I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And remember what God called the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? The Israel. Israelites. He called us Israel. So that's why Christ came to save us because we're lost. Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We used to
to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.